Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad, 9th grade, 2023, problem number 2. It has two parts. First part, we wish to find all the real numbers x satisfying the following equation, floor of x squared minus x equals minus 0 0.99, and part b, Prove that if a is less than or equal minus 1, then a floor of x squared minus x equals a has no real solutions. So here are my hints for this problem. I suggest that you consider five cases separately. First case, negative x's, then x's between 0 and 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, and finally greater than or equal 3. Remember the following property that floor of x is always strictly greater than x minus 1 for every real number x. And finally, sketching a good graph of our function on the left hand side may be helpful. We'll give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here is my attempt. So as, I as, I as I suggested, I will consider five cases. Case number one, uh, x is between minus infinity and zero. Well, notice that then floor of x squared minus x, well, every square is non-negative, and minus some negative number, this is of course positive. So our equation has no solution in this case. Let's consider second case x between 0 and 1. Well, notice that then floor of x squared minus x is floor of x is 0 in this case, so it's minus x. And we see that it equals minus 0 0.99 if and only if if and only if x equals 0 0.99. So we have one solution already. Third case, x is between 1 and 2. Well, then, floor of x squared minus x, well, this time, floor of x is 1. So we have 1 minus x, and 1 minus x equals minus 0 0.99. Well, that happens if and only if x equals... 1.99, which is in our interval. So we have already two solutions. Let's consider fourth case. X is between 2 and 3. What happens then? Well, then... Then, floor of x squared minus x. This time, uh, floor of x is 4. It is 2, but it's squared, so it's 4. 4 minus x. And notice this time that 4 minus x is for sure greater than 0. Because if x is between 2 and 3, then x is less than 4, so it's positive. So we have no solutions. So no solution in the first case. And no solutions in the fourth case. And finally, let's consider one more case. x is in the interval from 3 to infinity. When, well, then we have the following estimation. Floor of x squared minus x. Floor of x is a positive number, which is strictly greater than x minus 1. So it's greater than x minus 1 squared minus x. Okay, and that's x times x squared minus 3x plus 1. And notice that, that it can be written as x times x minus 3 plus 1. And since x is greater than or equal 3, this number is for, for certain positive. So no solutions here as well. So all in all, we have only two solutions, 0 0.99 and 1.99. So let's write it. 
So floor of x squared minus x equals minus 0 0.99 if and only if x is either 0 0.99 or 1.99. Okay, very well. And now let's tackle our uh, second part, part B. So now let let a be less than or equal minus one. We wish to consider the very same equation, but a is on the right hand side. Well, notice let's consider the same cases. Well, remember that if x is between minus infinity and zero, our function is positive. So our equation in part b has no solutions as well. Similar in cases four and five, four and five, again, our function in both cases uh, is also positive. So we have to consider only cases where x is between zero and one and cases where x is between one and two. So if x is between 1 and 2, 0 and 1, maybe first, well, then, again, we have 1 minus x equals a, 1 minus x, no, zero, sorry, sorry, 0, because floor this time, floor is 0, so minus x equals a, so a, x equals minus a, and notice that since a is between minus infinity and minus 1, this number is between 1 and infinity, and we have no solution, because x is between 0 and 1, so it cannot be from 1 to infinity. No solutions. No solutions here. And... One more case, if x is between 1 and 2, what then? Then floor of x is 1, so we have 1 minus x equals a, and that means that x equals 1 minus a, and remember that minus a is greater than or equal 1, so this number is in the interval from 2 to infinity, and again, 1, 2, to infinity, cannot be at the same time. No solutions. No solutions. So all in all, that implies that if, indeed, if a is less than or equal minus 1, then floor of x squared minus x equals a has no real solutions. as we wish to show. So that closes our proof. QED. Uh, you may also want to draw graph of our function. You will see the same, that the minimum of our function is not attained. The, the uh, lowest, lower bound, the infimum of our function is minus 1, but it is not attained. So our equation has no solutions. That's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.